Hi, my name is Wei Li. I'm currently in Ezra Staus College, probably going to major in computer science and economics. Awesome. Well, nice to meet you, Wei. Can you show me a little bit more about what you have here oh, today? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So I made a game on Pygame, and basically it's just a game where you avoid obstacles which are incoming, and you press the delete button to shoot a projectile, okay. which destroys uh, incoming obstacles. Gotcha. And, um, if you come into contact with any of the obstacles, you just die and you start again. And so the objective of the game basically is to get as high a score as possible. And the way score is recorded is through time, how long you stay alive in the game. Yeah. Gotcha. That's well, I'm, I'm noticing that as we start the game each time, it seems like we have different set of characters each time. So yeah. like, how's that generate? Can you talk to me a little bit more about okay. how you made this? It seems to be an infinite runner. Yeah. 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 So basically, um, the obstacles are randomly generated either at the top or the bottom of the screen. And the way timing works is I have like a cooldown. So after every like one second, a new uh, enemy will come and will be generated on the screen. And the way I make it more random is by generating them at different locations off the screen. So it's a range between like 900 and 1400. And so that adds to the randomness of the placement of the enemies. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, that sounds pretty difficult. Uh, what was like a particular bug or issue that you ran into and it was something that you had to overcome? Okay, so um, I actually got a lot of help at office hours. And so one of the bugs we came into was when uh, the projectiles weren't launching correctly. And the reason for that was because um, the way Pi Game was created. And so it ended up being that you had to be very specific with the way you um, like created the parameters for sprites within the Pi Game. And so uh, that was really difficult to navigate, but we were able to get it fixed at office hours. Gotcha, yeah. that's pretty cool. And then on the flip side of things, what part of this project are you most proud of? Because I mean, this is a pretty cool and uh -huh. fun game. Yeah, Yeah, like I definitely like, I wanted to do something that I never really did before. Mm -hmm. And so coming up with a game was something I was really interested in doing. And uh, I was really proud that I was able to like learn Pi Game and learn graphics and animation all from the start gotcha. to the end. And I thought that like this honestly isn't something I would do in my free time without CS50. So I'm glad I got like the chance to do it in this class. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And I guess one last question. What's the highest score have you seen so far on this game? Actually, um, people haven't been getting that high scores, mm -hmm. but like maybe 500. 500? So yeah. it's like what, one point per second, roughly? Uh, it's like 10 points per second. Gotcha. I mean, that's yeah. still a pretty long time. Like, that's almost a yeah. full minute. Yeah. I and mean, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Well, thanks so much again for showing me your project. I mean, this is pretty cool. Do you have any idea of what you might want to do with this in the future? Like, do you think you'll publish it on a game sharing platform somewhere if so other people can play it? I probably, I don't think so, mm. but I will probably like show it to people in the future. Yeah. And yeah. yeah just to show them cool. something I made. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks so much again for showing me your game today. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, and this is CS50.